Hey guys, Justin here in the Rapid LED Tent, uh, ready for another installment in the Beginner's Tip series. This one is going to be on pruning during flower for more yield. Um, you can see right here, all the plants are super happy, super healthy, uh, killing it under the LEDs and the mill's nutrients. Uh, but you can see as you get down a little further, we're a little crowded up in here. Just a little crowded. Uh, it's uh, two in between two and three weeks of flower just after two weeks uh, this is usually when the stretching they, they've already stretched as high as they're gonna stretch for the most part and they're gonna start bushing out and producing buds as you can see here we've got bud sites all over the place so it is definitely producing buds the stretch is pretty much finished and everything down here that has reached the top canopy area that everything that already has been up here is art is here like there is no more like so something like this down here this is not gonna just all of a sudden shoot up and become something cool up here so uh, this will likely just get taken off so that's uh, that's what I mean by pruning during flower um, is basically just clearing space in the canopy if you want to call it defoliation um, I, I don't really consider it defoliation because I consider like pulling off this leaf defoliation not like going and cutting this entire branch off this is what I consider pruning because this branch here was not tall enough to reach the top of the canopy you can see it's fairly underdeveloped just kind of scraggly looking so we want to get that out of here and uh, for those of you that like long videos this is gonna be a little bit longer video uh, because I'm just gonna go ahead and do this in real time and show you guys uh, so yeah we're just going to go in here, I'm doing it one handed of course, you want to kind of do it otherwise a lot of times. Just take some of this crap out of here that's not really getting light, it's not really getting a whole lot of airflow. See there's a big piece off the back there, we'll just clip that off, pull it out. I don't like to really trim too much in the first two weeks of flower. Uh, some of you guys might be like, well, why didn't you trim this off earlier? Well, because I like to see what's going to reach the top of the canopy because you never really know what branch is going to shoot off. Like, you may have some branch that's on the side and it'll just shoot up the side and it'll become a top cola. So, I don't like to cut off too much too early on. Uh, I like to give the plant a chance to to show me what, show me what she's got. Show me what you got. You know what I'm talking about get swifty with this shit so I'm just gonna cut out a bunch of this larfy crap that's in here so this bitch can show me what she's got in flower because you cut off all this stuff that's not really gonna produce anything and then your your nutrients and the plants energy are going to better areas so here's another piece that's just kind of chilling there we'll pop that off this piece isn't gonna get up there we'll pop that off pop that one off now you don't want to go too crazy because you can't put stuff back on but you can get rid of a lot of this larfy shit in your canopy and it'll not only help produce bigger buds up top but it will help with your airflow as well see now this piece this one's going up pretty tall I might leave that one I'll just trim it up down here a little bit for now and we'll check on that later when I get up a little higher just trim a bunch of this larfy shit out of here. And some of you, yeah, like I said, you can trim some of this out earlier on. Uh, during the first two weeks of flower, you're pretty much good to trim whatever you want. But like I said, I, I don't really like to screw myself uh, and just go crazy. And then you're, you end up with holes in your canopy and shit like that. Just not, uh, not cool, not cool. But I am going ham on this chick right here. Pull that one off. Get back here in the back. I may want to take a look at those on the other side there. That one's looking pretty good. We got some larfy shit that we'll trim off. Just a little garbage that no one cares about. Some more larfy shit. The under canopy really can get super ugly if you just let it go and don't do anything. 
to kind of keep it in check. It's kind of like trimming your balls, you know? If you don't do it, it just fucking goes everywhere. So you gotta do it. Same thing with your ladies. You gotta trim your ladies. Or they just get nasty. So we're just getting in here, trimming off a bunch of poo. Doing some womanscaping. Hopefully I'm aiming the camera right. I'm looking more at what I'm cutting more than I am the camera. So I apologize if the video is not academy quality. But I'm doing my best. Some more larfy shit. Some little stupid leaves. So yeah, that's looking a lot nicer. We'll pull off this ugly ass leaf there. I usually pull off anything that's ugly too. Like you're like the plant will start eating everything from the bottom. That's a lot of times how I tell uh, if I need to give more nutrients or less nutrients. Is kind of the the state of the under canopy. And this canopy isn't too bad. There's some, some leaf eating going on in the bottom there, but not, not too bad overall. A little piece there I can break off. And you can just kind of go through with your fingers. You don't always need scissors for everything. As long as you're not like breaking a piece off and then stripping it down the plant, like you know, it'll break off and then it'll have like bark there and it'll strip all the way down. That's not real good for the plant. Uh, not real great, but I'd recommend cutting anything that's going to do that, but you can pull a lot of things off with just your fingers. You get up in here, pull some of this larf off here. Larfy shit. Ooh, damn, I almost cut something real bad there. See, that's why you got to watch out. I, I reached around the corner and grabbed on this, this stem here and squeezed down. You can see where my scissors went in a little bit trying to do video and, and cutting is, is kind of stupid. I don't recommend it. But how else am I going to do it? I don't have a GoPro, so that's what I'm doing. So yeah, see how much, how much was cut off, basically, from that one there. Just a lot of that bottom stuff. So it's looking a lot better on the bottom. And it has cleaned out some of the top just by pulling those little larfy pieces that are coming up. And there's still a little bit more that I can even grab in here. And you'll you'll be able to really get up in there. I'm kind of gonna I'm probably gonna do some more of this later because I really got to get up in here and uh, and trim some of that out in the middle. You can see there in the center, so I can try and make some space there. So that's really the goal. Not only you're trying to cut off all this shit that's not going to get any light and not produce anything, but there's a lot of that stuff that weaves up through here and it causes issues with the top stuff and blocking it. And I, I, in my opinion, you're better off having less stalks and have them get fatter rather than having many, many, many stalks and have them all be super larfy. Um, I like solid buds, I like big buds, and I cannot lie. So. Uh, that's the way I do it. So that's uh, where we're going on there. I can see right now my camera's telling me I got three minutes left on my my memory card here. So we'll take a break here in a second, but I'm going to start in on this next one. You can see like here, this just hanging down. That is never going to make it to the top. It's never going to produce anything. Uh, it would have been great for a clone if we weren't in flower. So we snip that off. Like I said, that's why I consider this pruning, because I'm removing branches. And some people say, oh, you don't want to remove branches and flower, because it'll hurt me. Well, what I say to that is get better genetics. Uh, if you're having hermy issues just because you're pruning your plant, uh, you probably are using some really unstable uh, poopy genetics. Just saying. So, if you have stable genetics, you can prune quite a bit. I haven't had a whole lot of problems. I don't usually tend to use uh, subpar genetics. Except for last round with that 24K, that, that was some shit. 
<laughs> but I kind of knew that going in. That was a uh, out of a bag of weed that I knew had hermied. So I was taking a chance. I gambled on a fart and lost. That's the way it works. So now this one's a weird one. It's a really larfy piece, and it kind of is making it to the top, but ah, just not enough. See it? And that's another thing you can do. Like, pull it out of there, see if your plant looks all right before you cut it off. Say, yeah, yeah, I can live with that, or maybe I can't. Can I live without it? I don't know. I'm kind of thinking I can. Yeah, I think I can. Because see then, if I pull that out, I can move this over a little bit and it'll fill right into that spot. And that'll give me some more space in the middle. So, you just kind of have to plan it out, you know? It's uh, trimming and defoliation and pruning. Uh, it's kind of an art form. You're, you're making your own little, your little bonsai. Model. All right, and I'm back. The memory card just died. So yeah. Um, Three minutes goes really fast when you're trimming trees. It's the way it works. So we'll get back in here. I did take off that, that other branch there. And I'll pull this one down, uh, tie it down to that spot and clear out some more space in the middle. So that'll definitely be helpful. There's some more larfy stuff here. Pull that out. Just still chipping away at the underside here. Here's one. That one we can just take right off. So these are pretty good size pieces that are coming off. And that's really going to alleviate that, that middle canopy area. Because they're not high enough to get up into there to really produce anything. So it's not really a point. So that's what I'm trying to eliminate by doing this right now. And definitely, since this is a longer video, and somewhat instructional, I guess, uh, if you want to trim alongside, I mean, definitely. If you can watch the video and trim your plants at the same time, you can hang out with me and we can trim our bitches. Backside here. See some scrag, some scraggly poop. Get up in there. Take that off, Move that off. All right. Get up in here. These little suckers that are just chilling here, just taking up energy and nutrients. Not doing anything worth a damn. And some of these you can you can just break them off if they're small enough. And you don't want to do a bunch of damage to the plant that it can't really easily easily fix. There's a bunch on this back branch. Strip this clean back here. Uh, that'll be pretty good for now. I'll get in there and clean up a little bit more. I mean, really, you can you can get as as fine tuned as you want in there. Uh, take out a bunch of stuff. I see a, a leaf there that isn't really needed. So. There we are. Somewhat cleaned up on that bottom line. We got one left. This one's really spread out. 
And this one, we, we have this one over here in the corner, which is interesting. It's really low. You can see where it's at in the canopy. But it seems to be getting light because it's in the corner. So it, it bounces off this side and then over this side. And, and it seems to get a little bit of light down there. So I might actually leave the, the top of that piece. But this one down here, this one's gonna go. So that one goes, this one over here, that one's going. This one's actually got quite a bit on it. So I'm just gonna take a bunch of this stuff. See, here's one here that's just chilling. Boom, gone. A whole piece. And a lot of this like yellow weird stuff is like from when I first transplanted this in here and it was really underfed and you can't once you once you ruin a leaf it, it doesn't really get better it just only gets worse so it doesn't really look all that great but the new growth is absolutely amazing with the uh, the mills mills nutrients this time we're gonna check them out so far working out really well plants seem to be digging it I don't know how much uh, how much stuff do you guys take off your plants I mean comment down below or if you have any questions about any of this I'm really just digging in here now uh, that is not needed. I didn't even need to trim that piece. That one can stay. I'll just clean it up a little bit. And this one I'm just going to take a bunch of the larfy crap off of it. This whole thing can go. Definitely. Get that out of there. This piece can go. That can go. trace it up before you cut it so I'm doing a lot of these really quick but I'm fairly confident and from what I see in the bottom that it's not gonna reach the top but if I have any question at all I will definitely follow it to the top canopy and see if it actually does what I think it's gonna do so I don't want to cut off anything that that I can't put back on you know which is everything. You can't put anything back on. This one I'm just gonna clean some of the leaves off. And leaves are really easy to take off with your hand without destroying anything. Even really small branches you can pull off if they're small enough, pliable enough. Pull that off, strip some of this off, pull some of these leaves. Alright, now we'll get back to the scissors. Got some more some more larfy pieces to go after here. that going that's going to the top so we don't want to cut that off this right here no I don't need it I don't need it so I can spread this plant out quite a bit see look how much nicer already I mean I don't know if you can really tell on the video but 
just the canopy isn't isn't as crowded. There's light penetrating down a lot further in each canopy. This one needs to be cleaned up a little bit more up in there. And this one I still need to get to the back side. Like there's a piece hanging down all the way back there. But you guys pretty much, uh, <clears throat> I think, get the point of what I'm doing. And you can, you can vary this however you want. I mean, you can trim more, you can trim less, but I just, I would suggest being careful of what you do trim off because you just can't, you can't get it back. Um, they don't really grow a whole lot of new new branches and foliage and stuff at this point in flower it's it's bud time and that's pretty much what they go for so yeah um i'm gonna clean this up a little bit more but uh you guys get the point just clean up the bottom there it's not really needed we're gonna try and produce usable bud throughout here i mean if you want some extra larfy shit down here to try and run as hash or whatever sure Go ahead and leave it if you can handle the airflow. Uh, that's the only thing is you have to have the airflow because if it's all just a bunch of PM shit down here, you're not going to want to extract that anyway. And then your buds are going to be full of it anyway. So, Well, that's it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, latest installment on the Beginner's Series, Beginner's Tips. And uh, until next time, guys, happy growing.